Yo, yo, hi, B. So, I've been dealing with um, B Block, just, you know, working too much, life. And I don't believe B Block exists, but it does sometimes, you know? You just can't really make beats. I think it's also the YouTube aspect, you know? Like, when you start growing with your YouTube shit and then you trying to make beats just to, cause it's, it, it, it is what you do, but then you like, fuck, gotta make beats for YouTube. So, been a little bit stagnant. Try to figure out, I mean, I think it's also like, uh, I start learning how to make beats on the S950 and it's mad slower, so. Like, going back to other shit, maybe it's just not for me. I, I don't know. But I don't believe in beat block. <laughs> still got to create, you know. I still got to make new shit. So I'm about to take the NPC out. Go grab a, a different box. And we're going to see what we're going to make with it. You feel me? Super late. I should be sleep, bro. But couldn't sleep, so I was like, I want to make a beat. But everything I, I've been making on this NPC, I ain't been feeling. So, some plug. Unplugged. NPC. Ow, hit my lip. 2500 I was uh, making some beats on here I just wasn't feeling it man so I'm gonna go put him on the shelf go grab some mouse then we're gonna figure out if we could, we could get we could get out of this B block and if you guys ever been in B block tell me some steps to help you get out if you if you can just wait a second give me a second I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just go walk over here I don't know if I'm going to edit this, so it might take a second. Just wait. Be patient. Whenever I start feeling like, damn, I can't make a beat, I look at like the OGs or the, the big homies, you know, people who inspire me. And one of my biggest inspirations is definitely all the West Coast people, but is the homie Shiro, Voltage Controller. Uh, I'm pretty sure he inspired a lot of people. I see people. They be having like similar names. I'm like, bruh, like, yeah, I love Vulture's controller. But shout out to Vulture's controller. That's definitely the homie. Vulture's controller is the reason I got into my bat. I think I'm gonna get back on that. Let's look. Actually, you know, give me a second. Because Vulture's controller, I'm about to get on my Electron gang gang. Also Mario from Electron. It's me. No. <laughs> but yeah, he cool too. But Vulture's controller is the reason I got up. Uh, nah, maybe not. I don't know. I think I had a um, diggy tack before I knew about Voltage. I'm not sure. But anyway, he's definitely one of the reasons I was doing the mob bat. This is one of my modular rigs right here very sick rig it has a poly in poly 2 shout out to poly in definitely a good company it has a bitbox micro shout out to bitbox i definitely gave up on you guys black box and blue box i'm sorry got too much other equipment but i still like the bitbox micro because it makes like modular like with the sampler like bruh i'm gonna I'm get back on my modular game 
I also got a Harbinger 130. I think this is like a VCA and stuff. I got a Contour. This is by Make Noise. I have um, the Performer. Shout out to um, um, Beat People or um, what is what are they called? My Bat. They're dope, bro. But they got so many more modules now. I'm not even in the module game. I kind of made this little module set up right here. And it was like tapped out, bro, because it's like so expensive <laughs> to get into modules. Bro. So, like, if you guys get into my bat, just be ready to spend a lot of money because, like, literally to get the like case, that's 400. To get like a, a poly, I don't know how much these are, but these is like at least three to 400, bro. That's 800 dollars just right here. This ain't even the little the little thing that the little thing that's just covering up that that's not even included in it. And then you get a 1010 micro. I don't know how much those are. That's probably another 300, 400. That's 1200 bucks, bro. Uh, Berenger, y'all know them cheap. That's like 100 bucks, bro. But 100 bucks. So that's like 13 already. Condor, I don't know. I think that's um, I think that's discontinued at this point. So I don't know how much that is. I don't know how much the performers are, but as you see, it adds up to have a modular synth. And this probably ain't even like the dopest modular synths. I've seen some people, their modular synths are like cray cray, cray cray. So this is how far I got with my modular synth game 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 but i'm definitely about to get back on it because i i definitely like modular sims i feel like modular is like the dopest thing because you can make your own shit like i know the home homie lim leasy was getting into modular i'm not sure how far he got how deep he got but man that shit's tight man right, shout out to all the mob bap and boom bap motherfuckers who be on modular but yeah I've been really feeling that that feeling of like damn I, I think it's also pressure like I've been having like actual like the companies I want to work with looking at my videos and shit so it's like man bruh <laughs> like, like it's like and then also working with artists like artists been actually hitting me up like hey man I need a beat duh, 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 duh. sending them shit so it's just like it's good pressure, but it's pressure, and it kind of makes it like, oh, man. But, yeah, I've been in a weird spot. I've definitely been making beats on the MPC Key 61. I made some beats on Ableton, and um, I have been making just beats on, like, the SP-1200. But sometimes when you get so deep into the old school mentality it'd be hard because it's like you gotta say shit you got it it's just it's just a different it's a different thought process even though the shit that i'm about to get on is a whole different thought process too i i know it's a hell along but so the next week i'm digging back into the octa track it's because of, it's because of you voltage controller i was watching the voltage controller video bro and I was just like, man, how is this nigga doing this shit? And then, but all his videos, it shows you. It'd be him on the Octa track or, or on the uh, on the Digitech. So I'm like, okay, okay. Because I, I sat with the Octa track for a long time and I really like, I, I felt like I mastered it. But I'm an NPC head at the end of the day, like, NPC is where I started. My first drum machine that I bought for myself was the NPC 1000. From that NPC 1000, I had a blue one, then I had the black one. I sold the blue one to like this dope ass band called Assumes. And that was like, oh shit, I'm selling NPCs now. My mind was like, let's make a business about this. So I started flipping NPCs. 10 years later, I'm probably in the army or some shit, but you know, now I'm on, on YouTube. I'm just trying to grow this, bruh. So like, if you're a dreamer, if you're like me, you're a hypey's dad, or you might not be a hypey's dad. You might just be a regular dad or a boring dad or a cool dad or a hype dad. But you know, I'm hypey's dad. So I got a different level to this because there's levels. It's a pyramid scheme, but I'm at the top of the pyramid. Yeah. Illuminati shit, but anyway, 
this whole video was just to basically say I'm about to start getting back on the octa track um and the modular but mostly the octa track I don't know because when I was working my modular I was mostly doing it with the poly and the tracker I've been wanting to get back on the tracker too but I told myself, I was like, bruh, 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 you such an NPC head. Because I was literally just making a beat on the NPC keys. Like, motherfuckers sleep on the keys, but that shit is tight. It got keys there. It's the same NPC workflow. If the NPC XL comes out, probably get it for you guys. But to be honest, I don't need it. Like, I have all the type of shit that I need to make beats. It's just sometimes... I get in a weird mode where it's like, like literally, like I was like, I can't even make beats on the SP-1200. Like I'm an SP-1200 guy. And then it's just like, I got to a point where I was like, bruh. It's, it wasn't like I missed other stuff. It was just like the workflow, the the process. The, it, it just, it's, it's just different. So sometimes it, it, it can work in your favor where that difference makes you create, but it was kind of stifling me a little bit where I was just like, am I really just about to be an old school producer where I make everything on the 950? And I was feeling like probably so, bruh, but to be honest, it's so slow on the setup. I mean, if you have like your programs and you have like a template already, then you, you good, but you gotta you gotta write shit down like on oh my 950. I don't know where my look. Here's my notepad. I literally had to write and I and I stopped doing it. So I have like probably 20 beats after this. But I had to write down the beats, the BPM, where the templates were. Like oh like okay this 40 was a, a blank template or a SP template, SP 1200 template. But I really to be honest, my favorite combination with the 950, bruh, is the 950 and the 5000, MPC 5000. I had an MPC 5000 probably in 2008 or 2000. Actually, it was 2009 for sure, for sure. But I had one back then, and it was back when everybody hated it. But I liked the MPC 5000. I literally tricked mine out, put the glow-in-the-dark um, pads on it, and sold that bitch. Because like I said earlier, I was about that hustle shit. And I was about flipping NPCs. I, I felt like NPC flipping was a whole business. Like, if you guys never been on NPCHunters.com, then you don't you don't realize that this shit is a business. Like, if y'all motherfuckers never, like, been on Reverb, like, looking for shit you don't need, but you just such a, like, a, a gear nerd that you still looking for it, then you don't get it. If you never been on Guitar Center on the motherfucking you section and just, like, looking for stuff that you don't need, knowing that, like, you got a whole, whole hype beast family, upstairs i'm in the basement right now but you still buying all that shit is it, it's the it's a struggle baby but i don't know I, I i rambled hopefully you guys watch this whole video so i get my watch hours up but anyway go watch another hype beast dad video go tell a friend share this let's create a community let's make this big What's crazy is I see a lot of people who don't look like me come in here and they show y'all a video. They're like, this is a NPC or this is a Octatrack gay baby. And um da -da -da -da. and they got that old cute ass editing. And then that shit is just blow up. And now these motherfuckers got 20,000. Man, I'm so grimy. I had my fucking channel for over eight years before I got 1,000, and I'm still not monetized. So keep it 100, bro. Go watch a motherfucking Hype East Dad video. Let's get a brother monetized. I feel like I'm way more lit than any of these other people. I know I be talking all like, yeah, I'm so chill, bro. But I know what the fuck I be bringing to the table. So yeah, if y'all like this content, if y'all a hype beast or y'all a dad or y'all whatever you are, you're a producer, make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, you tell a friend, baby.
because we growing out here. I just wanted to come talk to y'all, man, real quick, real quick. You know, you know, you know, it's probably like one, two, two, three o'clock in the morning, but I'm making beats still all night. You know, because full time job, take care of the fam. Still got to make them beats because I want this to be my job. I want you to be my job. So this 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 is this video helps create that. You can help create that. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you are, shout out to you. Cause you awesome. But I feel like we can make this way bigger. I see people with big ass platforms, they play a beat, that shit trash. I'm just gonna keep it one hundo. Shit is trash. Y'all niggas don't go out, play no beats live. Y'all niggas ain't really out here doing nothing, but y'all some YouTube ass motherfuckers acting like you doing something. Bruh, this is some real hip hop, no gentrified bullshit, lo-fi bullshit. Nah, this is that no fi real shit. Tapping. Because y'all been led astray and y'all been tapping into the wrong people. It's time for y'all to tap into the true master yeah that's my old rap name true master boom and it's probably just because i've been sipping this 40 bro and i don't really sip 40s that often but i had a long day at work it was my friday so i was like bro i'm about to go 40 40 40 40 peace <laughs>